Fellas, and welcome back to my channel. This is Cass. This is Cass. I'm Cass. If this is your first time here, I think we should just take a moment and just let's just all subscribe. It just makes sense, honestly. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back this week. This week, I'm directing this video towards my non thrifting ladies and gents because some people just genuinely do not like thrifting. I have tons of friends that are like, Yeah. It's cute, you thrift, but what about, you know, affordable clothes for us other people who don't have the energy? I'm here, I'm here for you too. You know, I'm not going to just be like, oh, I'm a thrifting queen. Let's keep the thrifting videos coming. I'm going to broaden my horizons because you guys deserve that. So I had the pleasure of doing a video similar to this a few weeks ago, and now I'm working with some sister sites to bring you guys the next couple of videos you guys are going to see on my channel. I'm so excited to do these videos because I really love seeing if what's on the website is what you're going to get. I said the same thing last time. Sometimes that you get what you want, sometimes it's not, sometimes the quality is better than you thought it would be, sometimes the quality is just way off. Like these videos are very, very informative. Some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube. So I'm so excited and feel extremely blessed to be able to bring these videos to you guys on my channel as well. So yes, we're gonna just jump right in. I'm gonna start off with some accessories because I have three. And then I'll show you guys the clothing items afterwards. All of the links and sizes will be in the description um, bar below. And by sizes, I mean the size that I got. Like I said, these websites, you have to be very, very particular. And you have to look at every single item, every single measurement before you get it. So you can make sure you get the right size for yourself. So yeah, let's just jump right in. First accessory I want to show you guys is this lovely watch. This is a female analog quartz watch. I have my laptop so I can read it. Um, and this costs $2.91. This looks good it looks nice whatever have you i am disappointed in the size of the face i love big watches like i just want it my wrist is small but we like to go big or go home um it's just a woman's watch which i don't like women's watches because the face is small i thought it would be bigger but um because they had the same one in the mail and i compared like the measurements and it wasn't that much smaller so i was like oh it won't be that small it is um, but I really don't mind it. It's like dainty and cute, which really isn't my style, but here we are. We're going to rock her. Um, this watch feels extremely cheap. Like, it feels like it was worth $2.91. The actual face and everything looks really good. Very beautiful, classic, and chic, but the actual band feels like just thick construction paper. It really just feels like thick construction paper. So if you're looking for, like, super high quality with this watch, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's, you're not getting that. So for $2.91, if you're like not a watch person, but you want to like throw a watch on every now and then with the outfit, I wouldn't go invest heavy loads of money into like Michael Kors, blah, 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 unless you wear watches consistently. So if you just want to give these a whirl and just have a few cheap watches just to put on with outfits, this will work completely fine. But just know that the quality is not like, it's not leather the wristband so don't expect it to be like super high quality um i actually only am able it has two of the band holders i don't know what they're called and i can't put it into the first one so i kind of just had to skip it and go to the second one so it kind of looks weird in the back because it has a little lump but it it's cute it does what it needs to do for 291 i'm not upset i didn't expect any leather or anything crazy like that so there it is the next thing that I got is this chain crossbody bag, and this was $18.07. This is what she looks like. This bag is absolutely beautiful. Like, it's just beautiful. It has this gold chain, which you can either double up or make it into one long one, or you can just kind of like tuck it in and just like have it as a handheld clutch. This purse was just designed beautiful. Like, there's really no flaws to go on with it has a cute little bar in the front which kind of makes it kind of difficult to open so i'm gonna open it so you guys can see okay there we go so when you open it up it's white on the back where it was black on the front so it's white and then you have the red sides so i still have the tissue paper and everything in here get rid of this and that's and this okay so yeah it has two different sections, if you can see my hands. So here's one section right here. Perfect to hold your phone, lip gloss. Everybody, every girl knows what a clutch is for. Like we don't put too much stuff in there, but just all the important things. And then you have another front. 
you also have a middle. The middle section that divides the two compartments is a little zippered section. Good enough space for your glosses. It works out fine. I really like this and it's actually really roomy for a clutch but still small and compact. So you could do like your phone and keys and if you have like a mini wallet go in there and then you have the little zipper section for your glosses. So it's like really really pretty. I love this bag. It's just gorgeous all around and then it has the two metal pieces that clasp like the two buttons are up at the top and then you just like slide this piece in. So let's close her. If I could connect the buttons. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna shorten the strings. And it's it's just cute. It's a cute bag. The next thing I got was an Argyle six-piece handbag set, and I love these handbag sets. Oh, I forgot to say, all of these do come in like little duster bags. This was the one for the clutch. Very thin, very cheap, but I mean it keeps the bag protected, and that's all that you need. So this is the first bag in the six-piece Argyle set. I have been wearing this purse like the bag lady I am, okay? Wearing her. This, this is the perfect size. Like, it's not too big. Like, of course you want, like, a big shoulder bag because we're girls. Like, we want to put our whole life in our purse. But you also don't want it to be, like, too small so it's, like, a child's bag. So it's, like, the perfect medium size. It has a strap right here. So if you want to put it over your shoulder or, like, a crossbody bag. And then it also has the two handles right here. I use them interchangeably so I just have it all connected um, but you can detach this strap if you wanted to. It's gray on the inside. It's like mauvey eggplant purplish gray color. It has this compartment in the front. I already have stuff in there so that's what you hear inside. I have this compartment here, another one in the front and then I have like a big zipper pouch in the middle kind of like just how the clutch was. Um, then there's a zipper in the back just against the back of the purse. And there's some pouches, like pencil pouches and stuff, in the front of the bag as well. This bag has held it down, okay? Held it down. I love this thing. Next one is this clutch. Can we talk about how cute? Like, it says classic bag, original on the front. It has a gold little detailing right here. Then you just open it up. And it has this, like, brownish color on the inside. Here's the two attachment pieces. It came with a chain. And then you just open it up. There's no pockets or anything. It kind of feels like a full suede on the inside, but it'll do what it needs to do. You don't need pockets for purses like this because then that just gives you more room to make it look bulky when you want it to look flat anyways. And then it has the little magnetic clasp to keep it closed. And here comes the, this is the purse size that I was really trying to avoid with the first one I showed you guys. It's this one. So this is extra small. Like if I had a daughter and I wanted to be cute when we were matching, she would get this. Or if I had a niece or something like this is the bag she would get because I don't see myself using this because it's just so tiny. Actually I'm lying. It's a good size. It's a good size. If I didn't want to wear like my medium kind of large one, I could go for this for like a nice simple lunch. Why am I always trying to go to lunch? Why am I always hungry? I'm hungry. I want to eat. I need to eat after this. But yeah, so it's a cute little size. It's not too dramatic. And I really may, I, I'm probably going to wear it. I'm not even joking. Like now that I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, it's really not as small as I was making it seem in my head. And, sorry I'm getting out the duster. There's this little like wristlet purse. You can toss her on be at a festival having a good time and having your goods in here so it has the little zipper and that's also the strap so just yank it whoa this is a surprise and then it has a little purse inside so this is like a little it looks like a little mini book bag and it just has like these little details on the front hope you guys can see those like little gold specks and then it has a little attachment piece so you can like attach it to your keys if you wanted to so that's pretty convenient a nice little change purse i think and i would use this as like if i was going to a concert or something and i didn't want like a bag to be holding me down or holding me back this would be perfect because i could just leave it on my wrist so that's a mood then the last thing it came with was this beautiful wallet you just unzip it right here it's just a basic wallet but it has a lot more compartments than i've seen in like other wallets so i have all of my stuff in here so i'm not going to just like show it all but it has four card compartments 
on this side and this side. So you can put eight cards up in here. Then it has a change purse section in the middle and then two compartments. So you just add like your receipts, you know, money and blah, blah, blah in there. And that's where that goes. So it works out fine. All right, guys. So the first thing I want to show you are these lace up skinny pants. I have been waiting to find a pair of these. They're so expensive in stores because most of the time they're jeans. Um, and it's very, very hard to find a pair that's like not too risque because I know you guys have seen the ones that come like all the way up here. And like, I'm wearing underwear, so how about, how are those gonna work? These were only $16 and I love these things to death. Have I already worn them? I, I'm sorry, I opened the bag, I saw them. I had to lace them up, kind of a con, but I mean, it's a fun little task put some tunes on and get to you know lacing them up it's pretty easy um they go up high-waisted they're very stretchy they're like not jeans they're like super spandex i just i can bounce around and have fun in these and then they even put a little faux button so it looks like it's jeans but it's not there's nothing i can say besides i love these um they're just cute it's like putting on cute leggings but the material is thicker than leggings so it's like a good in between of a legging and a jean so next i'm going to talk about this color block striped cropped sweater sorry i'm reading them off from here um i got this for 15 dollars this you know i was like oh let me just try to jump out of my comfort zone i'm not really i don't really like cropped things unless i can wear like high-waisted jeans and it kind of like offsets the whole cropped showing your stomach ratio this shirt is a little a little extra for me but like with these pants on it makes me feel a little bit better but i don't have any jeans that are as high as this so i probably only wear it with these pants in reality um it's not a sweater at all so i don't feel like it's worth the 15 dollars. it really could have been a smooth 850 i'm not gonna even lie because it's not a sweater at all it's almost like only way I can describe it is paper thin. Like it's literally just a paper thin, like it's a shirt. It's not a sweater at all. So I don't know where they got sweater from because it's just a simple shirt. It has like a long piece in the back, which I just wish they would have made it this whole length all around because I love to like tuck things in to high-waisted things. You guys know me by now, like high-waisted jeans are the only jeans I wear. Um, and I don't like to show my stomach that much. So if I could have had this little length all the way around and tucked it in I would have loved it a lot more because I'm just trying to think like where would I wear it without super high-waisted jeans I don't know all right ladies and gentlemen this right here this is a mood this is legitimately a mood like okay let's find the name of this this is the deep v-neck sweater and this was $17. So if you think about the shirt that I just showed you for $15 compared to this for $17, like this is something I would think that will cost like $24 at like, I'm always going to say Forever 21. That's always going to be my comparison because that's where I like to shop. Um, this would probably be like $24.80. So $17.11 compared to that shirt that I just showed you that was $15. This is worth $17. You know what I'm saying? Like the quality. This is beautiful. Can I show you the party in the back? Just something like for the people hello um i think i need this this also comes in a blue i may need this in the blue like this is just perfection like this is a cute cropped sweater and it's not even marketed as cropped but this ladies so i have a mirror over here i'm checking myself out I, and it's pre-wrapped so like when you're putting it on it kind of looks weird but it's already pre-wrapped and it has the v and the v isn't too deep like it's like an acceptable deep V. It's not like a deep V that's like all the way down here where you would have to take the sweater to your skin to wear it. It's like doable. I feel like a ballerina. Like I feel like a dancer. You know how they be wearing like cute wrap sweaters and wrap shirts over their leotards? Me. I feel like I could be in Dirty Dancing right now. Save the last dance. I'm a dancer. So this is the next piece. I got this in a... This is an extra large. This is an Asian website so... If you're thickums, snickums, you wear a medium and up, you may find yourself in a triple X. I'm not gonna lie to you, like this happens all the time, so read your measurements. This is a little snug for something that's supposed to fit like an American medium, I believe, because that's what I normally wear. It's a little, 
it's snug she's snug but she's cute like i'm not mad at the shoulder seam that we have going on here like you know just a little skin nothing too crazy it is cropped so my jeans or pants tend to do this little bend thing here because of you know this so i don't know maybe i wear it with a skirt because all of my jeans do this or leggings or whatever so i wouldn't want all of my back out so yeah that's my only thing with this so this next item is supposed to be a turn down solid color collar loose trench coat and this is $14.86 so let's see how she looks I got this in a small and it's in an army green color which I love 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 the color I'm gonna just let you guys know right now that this is not a trench coat like it's not a coat whatsoever um it's more like a duster which I don't mind I've actually that's what I thought it would be like when I saw like trench coat because in the picture it kind of looks like a coat but you can tell it doesn't have pockets and it doesn't have a belt with it so I thought okay I don't think it'll be like a jacket jacket it'll be more like just a robe material which it is what it is um yeah it really just feels like a robe that's all it is um it's silky it's long I think it gets the job done and for $14 I mean I'm not expecting a full-blown trench coat for $14 from a website so I just really wish it would have at least had some trench coat amenities like at least the loops and then a belt I think that would have been cute so you could you know did one of these numbers with it or at least a pocket like just one or the other um there's no pockets there's no belt loops no belt so this literally you just would toss on which I don't mind I think this would be really cute with like a plain black bodycon dress or even like a nude one I think it would be really cute with some heels guys I love this shirt this is a mood like this is a mood it's not too heavy so it's not like a sweater material so it's not like too heavy but it's like more like a bodycon spandex so it like really holds you in and then you have the fun party sleeves i honestly gonna have x more from this shirt and it's long it's not cropped which i'm excited about because i can tuck it in and give me like more of like a bodysuit type of look this is a mood can we with some heels let me hike myself up so i can dream about it I love this this is really really cute and I love the white color I'm trying to get more white shirts and dresses and stuff like that don't trust myself with that color because I'm very messy and childish when I come to eating and stuff but I had to grow up one day and it's cute it's just like so airy and fresh and it goes perfectly with all the black that I own so I'm here for it all this is a hoodie contrast trim two-piece dress set and this cost $27.89 honestly you know after my last exquisite two-piece from that last video I did I was expecting more from this this is not a sweater material which is what I wanted like a sweater material um it's a spandex like just flowy I mean it's airy it feels good but I would much rather had been like an actual like jogging suit sweater material which it's not um i got this in a 3x and this is supposed to fit like an american large so there we have that um i probably would not piece these two together only because the skirt is kind of big um but the waist band is tight so it fits good like it's not uncomfortably tight but it's tighter than the actual fit of the rest of the skirt so it's just kind of I just would want it to be like that versus it's like kind of lumpy and just it's too freeing you know what I'm saying like I wanted a little bit more constriction from this um it fits good I probably just wouldn't wear this as a two-piece set by itself probably just wear it separately maybe if I let's see I have a scrunch on yes on my phone so like now this doesn't look too bad because I kind of got the top a little tighter I just like fitted clothes you know some things you just want to be fitted so I just kind of tied it up like I do most of all, all of my t-shirts extra large t-shirts and it looks a little better all right guys that is the end of the video as you can see some of these items are good I love I always get really good accessories from these websites like I never have a problem the watch was a little on the flimsy side but like I said if you're just not that much of an accessory person you just want to wear it once in a blue moon that's fine i always love the purses the purse 
I just wear the purses so heavily because they're always such good quality and I mean like when you get like 70 purses for the price of one it's like is there really a losing moment in there? I don't think so. Something that I really like about this website though is they offer free shipping. When I worked with the other website that shipping cost was crazy like shipping came out to like almost $50 on top of what you're spending and the tax so it's like almost like you're paying customs fees or something so it's like it's wild so when you finally get free shipping I mean what can you can't be mad at that like I can't even be mad at how long it takes to get here like I'm just like it came in the shipping is free I'm not upset so free shipping so awesome with this website and they always have sales on top of the cheap prices so those just apply that coupon code because most times it's right there on the front of the page you can apply your coupon code get your items something that you really want to be careful with though is like i missed a few items in this haul i believe i didn't get a jacket then i have like a off the shoulder like yellow ribbed shirt i was supposed to get and I missed two watches. They notified me about the crop sweater and the actual jacket that never came because they never shipped it out because I guess it had sold out even though I was able to add it to my cart and all of that. So, you know, they were like, either we'll give you a refund or you can choose items that cost up to the same amount and then we'll send them back to you or whatever. So I really enjoyed that. But I did get sent, I had two other watches that I wanted to show you guys. Um, and they said that they shipped them out. I had the tracking number. The tracking website is an it looks like it's Russian. I think that's the language. I can't find a translate button on there, so I have no clue what it says. But there was like a bar that kind of like tells you when it arrives, what I'm assuming, and the bar is like just stuck in the middle. So I have no clue where those items are. And I contacted support, so I'm waiting for them to give me a email back. But the tracking websites are not like USPS and FedEx it's like foreign ones so sometimes I know one of the ones that they sent me through um I could translate but this other one I can't translate it and if there's a translate button I you I couldn't tell because I don't speak Russian or I can't read Russian rather so I'm not positive about where those things are so we're gonna just wait and see but yeah I really enjoyed them a few of the items I just really wish like the sweaters were legit sweaters um but besides that, when the quality is good, the quality is good. Like that pink sweater, those pants, I mean, a mood. You just learn to work with certain things when you get them. So that's what you have to do with these websites and just be open-minded. And just make sure you get your measurements right so you're not like super disappointed and the sizes aren't like super off. So at least you're able to work with the items that you're sent. So yes, if you have any questions about my experience as far as ordering from this website and, you know, having representatives to talk to, sizing situation, how I got my measurements and all of that, then just let me know and I'll be sure to answer all of your questions. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.